we here at Orange Automation have received numerous requests to demonstrate the use of helix rotations in a real-world, massless example using the new hadronic atomizer shells from Jinx Enterprises. Most new users will be confused at first, but it is really quite simple. This is an ideal configuration of manifold parameters, with axion insulation lining the corresponding CY base closest to the LG orbifold, which is assisted by our Vylon suppression method. The Hilbert inclusive lever ensures the stable leptons reduce any dynamic phasanic wobbling. Many customers will adjust the stagnarium cores to the original dynode setting of at least negative 2.0. We must insist you preserve the chronolastic standard our engineers provided in order to reduce or even eliminate any side fumbling that may activate due to improperly calibrated hex conversion inlets. The microsystems controller is near the far southern end of the machine, which can be located by subtracting exactly 5.173467 quark band waves from your metaconductive circuit, followed by converting these into impulsive sensor net coordinates. Once you have discovered the second deuterium biofilter, you may activate your icelium infusers. Now that your unit is running, it is advisable to regulate your tremie pipe destabilization at least 3.87 times for every 7th index change. If this quota is not reached, you may experience low specular readings. We hope this overview has cleared up any confusion that you may have had with our product, and we are happy to announce that any future purchases will now be bundled with a free compact turbo encabulator, which is available now wherever Orange Automation products are sold.